All right, so I just got out of the ocean. The chalkiness is from zinc uh, sunscreen. Anyway, just clear that up. So what I wanna talk about today is the scale of brushwork. Um, so when I did my little six by six paintings, um, and I've talked about that in previous videos, I went through a period of time where I was doing a painting a day. There were six by six. I was using a number eight synthetic bright, which has a stroke of about five eighths of an inch, which is a fairly large stroke for a six by six inch painting. Um, and I really liked the looseness that I got in those little paintings. Um, and I always kind of wanted to scale that up to a larger size. And so the question I had is, if I just scale up the size of my brush proportionally, will it work or will it feel too loose? So I kind of was like musing about this uh, as I do on my Patreon channel, link in description. I often will post these little videos just with thoughts that I have when I'm in the studio. And uh, one of the patrons, a friend of mine, Matt, who was also a painter, he um, offered to send me prints of, uh, you know, he because he owns four of my paintings, uh, four of my six by sixes. And he's like, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll do a high quality print at 12 by 12 and at six by 16 by 16. And you can compare and see, you know, if it's if it works scaled up. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I've got his print set up. Really appreciate it, Matt, if you're watching. Very cool. Uh, so uh, let's take a look. Okay, so I've decided to uh, set up these prints next to a painting that I have hanging on my wall, which is right here. Um, this is a painting of Emma that I did several years ago. It's an 18 by 24, and it's super loose, but I really like how loose it is. I remember originally I thought it was maybe too loose to show. I didn't want to sell it anyway because I like the painting, but I've really grown to like, uh, you know, the big brush strokes. Um, and, but anyway, let's compare it to these others here. So this one here is a 16 by 16. This would be 12 by 12. And here's the original uh, that Matt bought, which is a, a six by six. And I thought I would just show them in real life here or next to a real painting in an actual setting so that we can get an idea of the scale. All right, so the first painting, um, this six by six was done with, uh, a number eight synthetic bright, which has a five eighths inch stroke. Okay, the next one, this is a 12 by 12. So if we scale up the brushwork, um, the brush uh, strokes here would be one and a quarter inches. And then for the 16, it would be one and three quarter inches. I didn't do the math. I actually just measured the largest brush stroke on there. But that's close enough for our purposes. Uh, so how do I feel about it? In other words, if we scale up um, this six by six, the, the loose brushwork, how does it translate? I would say, it, to my surprise, it actually translates pretty well. There are a few things that I would do um, to this painting here, the largest one, actually the 12 by 12 too. I think that I would define the windows maybe a little bit more but you know, the, the street here, the car and everything, I like that. Um, I mean, it definitely has a different feel from my other paintings, but I think, um, I think it works. Yeah, there's some things up in the front of the building, uh, the front of the building here that I would probably tighten up just a bit. But uh, with all of these, or, or with the 12 by 12 and the 16 by 16, I would be uh, happy starting with a really large brush, like say something, even a two inch brush on a 16 by 16. And like I said, an inch and a quarter or a one inch brush on the 12 by 12, um, take it as far as I could and then come in with something smaller just to tighten up, like in this case, just to tighten up the windows a little bit and maybe what else? And like I said, the front of the building. But other than that, um, I like, I like the, the, the big brush strokes in the, um, in the foreground. I think that's really cool. I think the light in the windows works. So, uh, let's take an, a look at the next one. All right. So this is really complicated subject matter for a small painting. Uh, the original six by six up here, obviously, um, you blow this up and boy, you see how loose it is still, um, yeah, I think there's some things that, again, there is a few things that I would tighten up in both the 12 by 12 and, and the 16 by 16. 
But I think the overall design, I like the overall, overall design and I do like some of the big brushwork in the shadows here. So again, the same conclusion. It would be cool to start with like a two inch brush, maybe a one inch or a one and a half, one and a quarter, whatever for the 12. Um, and then just do tightening up, a bit of cleanup with, with a smaller brush. So again, I think the composition is such a, a key thing. And I do like the composition of these, uh, of this painting. So, you know, it'd just be a matter of tightening it up until I felt like it was, yeah, like that it was fully resolved. This person right here is just kind of a, a blob, but it works for me. And same with this person here. Uh, yeah, and even the guy on the bike, you can kind of tell it's a bike because of the shadow. So I think I would, yeah, I would just do minimal cleanup on that one as well, just to kind of make, make it work. All right, so I'm, I'm finding that pretty much the same uh, conclusion applies to all of these, you know, which is I would probably do a bit of tightening up in the window. Also, maybe the car, I would kind of define the car a little bit more. And what about the brush strokes in the trees? I think, I would, I think I'm okay with those. Those are pretty wide, big brush strokes. All right, let's look at the last one. All right, so on this one, I feel like there's a bit of light in here, which on the monitor right now, when I'm looking at it, it looks fine. But in person, I probably would have toned down this brush stroke right here just a little bit. On the six by six, it actually works perfectly from where I am, it looks fine. I'd probably drop the value on that. That's the only thing that, oh, and then I'd tighten up the car again too. Um, I don't know if I would tighten up the cab. I think I'd leave that the way it is. All right, so the takeaway here for me is that I could definitely be using a larger brush for the initial, uh, um, for the initial block in, especially when I'm working in the studio. There is a problem working with like say a two inch brush when I'm painting out on location. My equipment is not set up to be washing out like large, you know, large brushes. So ten, what I tend to do if I want to cover a large area on a larger panel when I'm painting outdoors is I'll use like a number 10 uh, natural bristle brush which holds a lot of paint. And then I'll just do a scrub in and I'll, I'll you know, just kind of quickly cover areas. If you watch this video, you've seen me do that before. Um, and it's pretty quick and effective, uh, but you don't get these, you know, uh, big strokes of coverage, like big, uh, like I do in my smaller paintings. So the look is definitely a little different. Um, so, but in the studio, uh, because I can have a big brush washer and, uh, maybe a bunch of big brushes, I think that it could really work. So that's something I'm gonna experiment with on my larger paintings, especially, you know, start with like a two inch brush to block the whole thing in and then just go smaller and smaller. And the key is like I talked about in these, uh, in, you know, when we're looking at these prints is that it's basically do go as far as you can with the largest brush possible and then stand back and say, all right, what bugs me about this? You know, and if, like I said, it was tended to be like the cars and the windows and stuff. It's like, all right, they need a little more definition, a little more tightening up. Um, so anyway, the lesson here is something that I already knew and you guys probably already knew too. Use the biggest brush you can for as long as possible. Clean it up, you know, go smaller uh, and clean it up and then leave it. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, I thought this was really fun. And again, big thanks to Matt. I really appreciate it. This was an eye opener. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video.